doubt. Switching gears now, Yuma parents can now register their children for a free summer camp. Adam Klepp spoke to the director of the initiative and the local camp host about how AZ on Track is looking to catch kids up on learning and social loss experienced during the pandemic. Families across Arizona will be able to enroll their children in a free eight-week camp this summer, thanks to a $100 million grant from the state government. Well, we would love to see about 25% of students, which is 250,000 kids in camp. Lisa Graham Keegan is the director of the initiative coming from the governor's office. She says many students across the state fell behind due to virtual learning, both socially and academically. What we know about learning loss is that it's been extreme and it can it can be anywhere from kids lost eight months of learning to up to two years of learning. And one of those AZ on track summer camps is going to be held right here at the Yuma Family YMCA and the director tells me demand for the program is already through the roof. So we're at 100 um, for most maybe three or four of the weeks, but we do have openings still. Annie Cleary says while the Y is planning on a lot of fun activities for students, they will also be getting back to basics in the classroom. Enforcing those math, enforcing the reading skills to make sure they're prepared for the next school year. With the registration deadline approaching on April 18th, getting kids signed up is the current priority. The next will be hiring teachers. Teachers are, should be, are exhausted, probably need a nap, and they're coming back to do summer camp, at least for a part of the summer. And we're so grateful. Clary says local teachers can apply on their website and even expect a raise. The governor has announced that he will be adding um, pay incentives for um, certified teachers to come in and participate with us this summer. For a full list of local camps, you can visit azontrack.com. More information is also available on our website, kyma.com. Reporting in Yuma, Adam Klett, News 11.